Star Challenge. And yes. First goal for 2019. Yeah, first. Happy Friday, guys. On this episode, I'm going to show you how to wire in a mil spec bulkhead connector. And for those of you that don't know what the hell I just said, I'm talking about this bad boy. Hey guys, uh, so the Datsun is finally out of a, a little cage back there. We're out in our main mechanic area. I also have to give you guys a video on the actual whole uh, suspension setup I got. Shout out to sponsor. Um, Greg is also out here right now next to me but he's using a bunch of super loud tools messing with his hood and stuff um so i'm actually gonna just once i actually get rolling i'm gonna go ahead and uh just voice over pretty much all of this because it's been loud lately um but first thing you want to do is drill a hole for your uh bulkhead fitting find out where you want to go um keep it away from too much heat if you can Mine's actually gonna be pretty close to my downpipe, but what I'm gonna do is uh, build a little heat shield for it, so um, it shouldn't be an issue. And uh, yeah, let's uh, get into it. Let's jump right into this. So first I'm just gonna explain the uh, bulkhead connector itself. You obviously slide it through uh, the firewall and then this nut right here tightens it down so it locks itself in place. It also has a flat spot on it to keep it from spinning. And then this is the uh, plug end. It only slides in one way and then it would spin the collar. It'll have a little click at the end. That's how you know it actually has fully connected. And then same thing to pull it off. This is like uh, just showing you the types of pins that sit in each one. The pin actually slides inside the receptacle, like that. Basically drill a hole where you know you're going to mount this thing. Um, I had a hole saw that was fairly big, but um, not the perfect size, so then I used a Dremel to get the rest of it. Um, and then you just slide the back half of the connector through, obviously, tighten up a nut on the outside, and you're done. One useful tip would definitely be to take a bunch of photos of each wire and label which wire harness this is, and then mark what number pin each one's gonna go into. I literally just take a photo with my iPhone and then just in the uh, editor, you can just write right on the screen, and that's it. Good way to keep everything organized. So to start, we have to remove the excess shielding on the very end of the wire to expose the copper. Um, I like using these wire strippers. They're super useful and you can adjust how much they actually clamp down for the thickness of wire and you can adjust this little red guy at the end that actually uh, determines how much wire shielding you crimp off. Next step would be to pinch the terminal on the end of this exposed wire. I'm using a Deutsch connector. Uh, it has four little pinchers that come in at the same time and lock the terminal in place. This threaded bit on the back actually determines how deep the terminal can sit in the crimper. So you just slide a terminal end on, put the crimper on it, make sure it's about flush with the face of the crimper, and just tighten down and that's it. It's super easy. Here's a close-up of the back of the socket end. You can see that each terminal is numbered. So you literally just slide the terminal head in, and there's this little tool. It's uh, got a little chamber on the inside of it. You slide on the back of the head of the terminal, push it through, and you can see it pop through on the other side. Once you see that it's pretty much flush, you know it's locked in there. 
One thing to keep in mind before inserting any terminals into the back of the connector is to route them all through the heat shielding for the end of the connector. I forgot to do this and I actually had to pull my O2 sensor back off to run it back through. All right, so here's me doing it the right way. Uh, once you have all the terminals pinned in, uh, you just need to slide the heat shielding up as far as you can on the connector. And then uh, just run a heat gun and heat it all completely evenly all the way around. Um, you wanna just take your time, do it slowly. Um, I'd say take three or four minutes probably doing it. Now all that's left is to plug in your mil-spec connector and route all the wiring. All right guys, I hope you found this five minute Friday informative. Peace.